Kingsport. My name is Danielle Glasscock, and I'm the Executive Director of the United Way of Greater Kingsport. And we're here today to share with you an exciting new adventure we've just taken off on regarding our seniors in town. And here with me today is Jerry Lukacs, who's been very involved in this effort with the Aging with Choices Vision Council at United Way, and also Kathy Whitaker from the First Tennessee Area Agency on Aging and Disability. And so we're here today to tell you about the exciting news, but the first thing you want to know about is what is the name of the website? And Jerry, would you share that with us? I'd be glad to, Danelle. Well, we're really excited to be here and talk about Senior Connect Kingsport. And you can find this new web portal at SeniorConnectKPT.org. Well, super. So, who out there might want to log on to this website right away? Get out their cell phones and, and get out their computers and look at it. Well, we've designed this to be uh, primarily for uh, seniors and, and things of interest to seniors. But uh, as we all know, that also includes uh, family members. Uh, some of us are in that uh, sandwich generation, for example, as well as caregivers. So we think all those people might be interested in this web portal. Okay, so the name of the web portal is SeniorConnectKPT.org. SeniorConnectKPT.org. Excuse me, SeniorConnectKPT.org. And on this is a wealth of information for the Senior Portal. I know, Jerry, your Vision Council has been working on this a while, and there's basically six different areas covered under this Vision Council. Can you tell us a little bit about what those six areas are? Sure. We tried to um, identify those things which we thought would be most interest to seniors. So we've got things like uh, just information services, which might include things like uh, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, wills and trusts and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a uh, housing and long-term care uh, a section, uh, a section on health and wellness, uh, mm -hmm. safety, uh, and those kinds of things. Yeah, safety is one of my favorites. Uh, Kathy, you really represent the aging population all the time with your agency and what they do. What is the need out there for something like this? Well, we're finding that there are, are a lot of people who just don't know what's available. Mm -hmm. And we hear this a lot when people call our 1-800 number that we have. They'll say, gosh, we didn't know that you existed. You know, we just need information about services. And sometimes when we receive calls from people, you know, we're telling them there's a lot of information that's on a website, and this will be a great opportunity if they call us first and they're in the Kingsport area, we can refer them back to the website. And we also see the website as a wonderful opportunity for people to go on the website, look at all the resources that are available, see our agency, see the things that we do, uh, and there's a number that they can call us and connect to us because I think that we need to get information out to the senior population in mm -hmm. a variety of ways mm -hmm. because no two people access information the same way. Great, great. Well, I know from the United Way perspective, this is a huge collaborative effort. And so the United Way is really trying to create long-term lasting change in community conditions. And this Vision Council has been working on that. I know at the community forums that I've attended on this, there has been more than just one agency. There has been 30 agencies at least represented. Jerry, could you talk a little bit about the conglomerate of the groups and the different type of people that have been involved in this website and making this happen? Sure will. Well, as you mentioned, we've had uh, two community forums, and these were opportunities for everyone in our community, but particularly for, for organizations that work with seniors to come together and identify what the needs are and uh, what the solutions might look like and also to um, volunteer to help or to partner together to make these solutions come into being. Um, we've been really fortunate to have um, some key contributors like the United Way of Greater Kingsport, uh, like the Area Agency on Aging, but also uh, the uh, Kingsport Times News Digital Group has uh, helped us uh, significantly with this. The, uh, AARP has been a, a big supporter of us and, and as well as a number of other organizations in the community. Mm -hmm. I believe the city of Kingsport is providing some space for a person exactly. to actually work to update this website among, among different people. Well, let's talk about the website a little bit more in depth and tell people a little bit about what they can find on there. Um, I know that one of my favorite things I've seen on there is under safe living and there's just articles that link to, to things on the website that I know have already been vetted by your organization that say this is a this is a powerful article to look at and the one I love is about deadbolt locks for seniors 
how important it is. How many seniors struggle from falls or they're developing Alzheimer's? They walk out the wrong door, they fall down the stairs, and, and that's a big issue for them. And I just love the thought about deadbolt locks for seniors, as well as a plethora of other information that's out there. Do you have some other details of things that might be on the website that you've seen that you think people would really be interested in viewing? Well, I think, um, as you pointed out, what, the way we've tried to organize this is we've got the six main categories and then close to 50 subcategories. And for each one of those subcategories, uh, we have tried to list the organizations in our community which provide services in that area. So we have this database that you can search and find uh, who might be able to help you. But then, as Danella said, there's uh, usually uh, two or three or more articles or links to articles uh, about that particular area. So uh, as you point out, if, uh, if you're interested in finding out more about elder abuse, uh, there would be articles that tell you a little bit about how to protect yourself, uh, how to help uh, someone that may uh, be at risk for this, uh, as well as then the organizations in the community that uh, would be able to help as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got a friend and her mom has just moved to town to live here close to her. She is not involved in anything yet. She already has a place to live. She doesn't need a nursing home or assisted living home yet, even though we could find out that about that on the website. Will she be able to find out things to do here and opportunities available on this website? Kathy, you want to tell mm -hmm. us anything about that? I know that on the website there's a calendar of events, and I think that's really good because a lot of people you know, just don't know what's going on in their own community. And going on to the calendar, they can see a lot of the activities that are being sponsored throughout the Kingsport area. And so I think people can find a lot of information about the calendar and kind of keep up with a lot of exciting things that are going on in the greater Kingsport area. Danelle, we've also got uh, a number of sort of quality of life issues, but uh, you can find volunteer opportunities in the community. Uh, you can find uh, where the senior center is and what kind of activities they have. Uh, there's opportunities for uh, group travel, for continual learning. You know, what are the uh, options for education for seniors in our, in our community? Yes, I just had a friend just say he's taken the photography class at the senior center, so I thought that sounded very interesting mm -hmm. as well. Well, we have a lot of people that um, already maybe uh, have a lot of opportunities in our community, but, but a lot of seniors don't. They're getting to that time of life and they're really having to cut back. Can this website also tell them more about basic needs that are available if they, if they have a need for transportation or food or clothing? Absolutely. Uh, we, we would have links to, uh, as you point out, transportation, but also uh, food banks for um, clothing, shelter, those kinds of things. All of that is um, covered with an orientation toward uh, seniors and what seniors would be interested in. That's great. I know from our United Way office, we do a lot with Meals on Wheels. Is there, and Meals on Wheels is sometimes hard to find out that information. Where do mm -hmm. you go to register? Will you be able to find that on this website? Absolutely. Okay, well, super. And I think it's a great resource for family caregivers because a lot of times uh, a family member is looking for what's available in the community for their mother or their father. And I think it may not be the older person that maybe is looking on the website, but the family caregiver. That's a great point. I know when this idea was first being mm -hmm. talked about, a lot of the feedback that you all got is in terms of developing is, the older seniors don't use the web. They're not carrying around the smartphones like the younger generation is. Um, but what would you say to that? Their children are a lot of times, <laughs> their children, and even their grandchildren. So yeah. I think a lot of people, not only an older person, but their family member, their grandchild, you know, niece, nephew can go on the website and find a lot of information that will help their loved one. Well, I have a wonderful father and he can look at my emails that I send to him, but he can't reply. No. <laughs> so he cannot get on right. this website. So what's a person like him gonna do? Is there another way that he can connect with this information? Well, I'd like to make a, a couple points. One is that um, the AARP recently did a survey in Kingsport and uh, found surprisingly high numbers of seniors that do use the web. And, and so I think the stereotype that seniors will not use this or don't have access it may not be as true as we think. 
Uh, but the second thing is we know there are people that, that don't want to or, or can't. And uh, one of the things that we have on uh, this site is a button that said, uh, you know, talk to someone on the phone. And it lists uh, people like uh, the 800 number Kathy mentioned at the Area Agency on Aging. It lists uh, 211 and when they're open, uh, what their phone number is and that sort of thing. Uh, it has ask a nurse. So depending on the type of questions you have or the area of interest, you can find someone to talk to on the phone. That's great. Kathy, do you know that 1-800 number off the top of your head, if you could tell our viewers, or we'll have it up on the screen behind you. Okay. It's 866-836-6678. Thank you. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it correct on the screen behind okay. us. And then Jerry's also mentioned 211. 211 is a number that anyone in the state and actually in the nation can call to find out more information about services. Our own area right here in the greater Kingsport area also offers um, reassurance calls in that there is a program and it's listed on the website that if you're worried about your your mother or um, your your grandmother and you want somebody to call in every day and check on them, uh, this organization does that as well and it's a valuable thing besides being able to link any questions. So I would really encourage anyone if you um, want to know more information, don't want to get on the website, call 211. That's also contact concern number and that's a great resource of information and they have access to all the inf information that we have as well. So um, what about the website? Uh, is it easy to use? Is it, is it easy to navigate? Is it going to be just little print that uh, nobody can see? <laughs> well, one of the things that uh, was an early suggestion was that uh, we would have one of those uh, opportunities to change the font size. So you can make the font bigger if you want to. But uh, we hope that it's been uh, designed to really be easy to use and uh, simple click through to the area you, um, you want. Uh, Different people like to search for information in different ways, so uh, you can sim do a simple search if you want, uh, or there's a, an area where you can be helped through a search. And so we hopefully, hopefully that will uh, be good for, for different people who like to look for information in different ways. Well, that is great. Well, I know this is a reliable source of information that we're going to keep it up to date, but to maintain it, it's going to need some sources and some funding. So, uh, Jerry, do you want to talk a little bit about how we're going to fund this program and how it's going to stay and maintain up to date and be reliable for the future? Well, uh, we mentioned before that we've really uh, been blessed by having good partners in the community. Um, we also are looking for people that would like to be financial partners with us and have already um, had a number of organizations uh, step up to the plate, but um, we hope that uh, there will be organizations who uh, feel that uh, the senior demographic is uh, of interest to them and would like to get their name out uh, in, in amongst that group and so would find this both uh, something that's good for the community that they'd like to do because it helps our community but also is good for their organization from a marketing or publicity standpoint. Great. So at the bottom of each page there will be sponsorship opportunities and you'll be able to see that on the website and we hope that organizations too that might want to become a sponsor organization there's still some spots left so please let Jerry Lukacs know that and we'll have our information out there available to you too. Is there anything else that would like to tell the viewers out there about uh, SeniorConnectKPT.org? Anything else they need to know about us? Well, I'd like to just say that uh, we think this is designed solely to be the one-stop shop for Kingsport, and so uh, it doesn't have a lot of extraneous information from areas outside of Kingsport. Uh, but uh, we'd like to encourage everyone to take a look at it and let us know what you think. Uh, we believe that we'll continue to listen to our community and update and, and change this to uh, make it more useful to folks here in Kingsport, and so we want to hear from you. So take a look at it, tell your friends about it, and let us know what you think. In the Area Agency on Aging and Disability, we're pleased to be a partner and part of this great initiative. I do think it's kind of a, a model for other communities to also look into. Well, I love that we've mm -hmm. all collaborated on this with the City of Kingsport, with the Times News Digital Group, and with AARP, and with many others that are really coming forth and making this happen. Uh, the Vision Council within the United Way of Greater Kingsport is one of four with great things going on, and we're very proud to be featuring this one today and proud of the great work that uh, these people have done. So again, log on, look at the website, um, give us your feedback, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.